Okay. Hare Krishna. All the devotees, please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Guru Maharaj, Prabhupada and all the devotees. Please bless me so I can do this Vaitya Nisarita Mr. class. I'm going to try to, uh, to do it something. By the blessings of all of you, I can do something. Thank you. We are going to read today Sri Chaitanya Charita Amrita, Murti Lila, Chapter 24, Explanations of the Atmara Version. And text number 103. Satyam Nindishati Arthitam Arthito Nilam Neva Sadoya Punar Arhitayata Swayam Vidate Bajatam Anichatam Icha Pidanam Nijapa the Pallavam And I should read by synonyms word to word translation. Satyam, it is true. Dishati, he avoids. Akhir, Arthita, that which is desired. Arthita, being requested. Niram, by human beings. No, not ever, certainly. Arthita, giving bless, uh, desired things. Yat, which, Puna, again, Arthita. Request Yata for, from which Swayam himself, this is a capital H, so it's all for the Lord. Idate he gives, so also Lord gives. Bhajatam of those engaged in devotional service. Anichata, even though not desiring. Icha, Icha Pidanam. Covering all the desires, all other desires. Nijapada Pallavam, the shelter of his daughter's own lotus feet. Krishna is very, very kind. Translation by his guest, Divine Guest Prabhupada, Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai. Whenever Krishna is requested to fulfill one's desire, he undoubtedly does so. But he does not avoid anything which, after being enjoyed, will cause someone to position him again and again to fulfill further desires. When one has other desires but engages in the Lord's service, Krishna forcibly gives one's shelter of his lotus feet, where one will forget all other desires. It's a wonderful Lord. And in the purple Prabhupada says, this is a quotation from Srimad Bhagavatam. This is a verse from Srimad Bhagavatam. But, uh, and I also read in the Bhagavatam this verse, and that also explains that in, our, in the Bhagavad Gita, the verse 14 and 15. So I will read some purple from there, and then also, I don't know, yes, um, then also we can talk about it. But in, at least I'm here, just let me tell you about it. This case, like, we can understand from here, and we all know, we have already studied Guru Maharaj's character. Guru Maharaj is very good devotee, pure devotee. And so he had desire which we all of us know that he wants he, he want the kingdom higher than Lord Brahma. Lord Brahma is his great grandfather. He's a son, Guru Maharaj's son of Uttanapad, and Uttanapad's father is Manu Maharaj, and Manu Maharaj's father is Lord Brahma. So, Guru Maharaj wanted it. Not just the kingdom of his father, Uttanapad, not just as big as Manu Maharaj, but and not a, as good as Lord Brahma, but he wanted better than Lord Brahma. So he performed all this, uh, you know, tapasya, 
under the direction of Narad Muni. And Narad Muni gives him the, uh, the mantra, Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. And within six months, he had a darshan of the Lord. So by the Guru's mercy and Guru's direction, when we follow, then the Lord is not far away from us. So this is what all I can understand. And what he wanted, the desire, but the desire, he, he didn't ask for anything else. Just for the, he just wanted the kingdom higher than Lord Brahma. I don't know whether he knew that or not, but this is what he wanted. And Lord gives him the, the whole planet, through a planet. This, this is a kind of, it's a way kundam in this material creation, material world, this world, I mean this universe. So that uh, kingdom has, nobody has rule. And that is a kind of symbol like a Vaikuntha planet. And when all, everything is destroyed, when the annihilation, that planet, Dhruva planet, does not get annihilated. It's an eternal abode. So he didn't ask for eternal abode, but uh, Krishna is so kind. He gave, so now he had, when he had, Dhruva Maharaj had the darshan of the Lord, he was fully satisfied by seeing the Lord's very beautiful form, fully decorated and dressed, a very nice, beautiful smile on him. So he says, he prays, Lord, I don't want anything. Swami, Kritarkosmi, Varam Layaji. I don't want anything. Please. Don't give me anything. I don't want anything. I am fully satisfied just by having your peaceful darshan, which, uh, which has fulfilled all my desire. I don't want anything. <laughs> this is wonderful. When we have Lord, what else do we want? Because Lord is everything. Hare Krishna. So, but still, I would like to read the purport. Of the, from the Bhagavad Gita, 15 and 15. I hope you all will be enjoying or maybe coming along. But this is like an, uh, it's a very nice purpose also. This is in a chap- Bhagavad Gita, chapter 3, verse number 14 and 15. The purport is kind of a little longer. But I'll just read the translation of the verse. All living bodies subsist on food grains, which are produced from rains. Uh, rains are produced by performance of yajna, and yajna is born of prescribed duties. So here, Balde Vidya Pusha, in the purport, Sri Prabhupada is mentioning about Balde Vidya Pusha, what he, he Srila Baladevi Devusan is giving in commentary. He says the Supreme Lord, who is known as Yajna Purusha, or the personal beneficiary of all sacrifices, is the master of all the demigods, who serve him as the different limbs of the body serve the whole. So demigods like Indra, Chandra, Varun are appointed officers who manage material affairs and the Vedas direct sacrifices to satisfy these demigods so that they may be pleased to supply air, light and water sufficiently to produce food grains. When Lord Krishna is worshipped, the demigods who are different limbs of the body are also automatically worshipped. Therefore, there is no separate need to worship demigods. For this reason, the devotees of the Lord who are in Krishna consciousness offer food to Krishna and then eat. It a process which nourishes the body spiritually. This is wonderful. By eating prasad, oh, Krishna prasad, 
it's not just the satisfy of the hunger, but also nourishes our spirit, body, spiritual, that we can understand or, uh, about the Lord. Then it is uh, in the, described in the scripture, and we hear from the qualified persons who are in disciplic succession. And then we can also nourish spiritually. By such action, not only are the uh, past sinful reactions in the body vanquished, that this is body spiritually also nourishes the prasadam in Hare Krishna. The body, but the body becomes immunized to all contamination of material nature when it's spiritualized. We need only Krishna Prasad. When there is an epidemic disease, an antiseptic vaccine protects a person from the attack of such an epidemic. Similarly, food offered to Lord Vishnu and then taken by us makes us sufficiently res resistant to material affection. And one is accustomed to this practice is a is called a devotee of the Lord. Sometimes we can understand how um, we should not have affection. Affection, like you know, sometimes we say, you know, we have children in the house and small children and like that. If we don't have affection, then how we can help them to grow and understand what is right and what is wrong, like that and choose the right thing. So, here, then we can, the answer could be like this. Yes, we can be affectionate to teach them and, and guide them. But we should not be attached. That is the one thing we have to do. Practice. Affection is there, but not the attachment. That's what it is says. Krishna. Therefore, and one who is accustomed to this practice is called a devotee of the Lord. So, I mean, guide the children properly and like that. We don't, have, we don't demand, but lovingly treat them like mothers, uh, all the mothers uh, on Bhakti Sangha. The, the children, they are teaching very nicely, very affectionately. So they are learning very, very nice. I hear some of the classes, very, very wonderful devotees. Children are very, very nice devotees. So that is affection. And also we can call love, that we are giving them the guidance. So when they grow up, then they will know how, which way to go, and they can make the right decision and practice Krishna Consciousness, become devotee. And that is what Prabhupada also wanted. Therefore, okay, I read, read that. One, on the other hand, one who does not do so, continues to increase the volume of sinful action. One who doesn't eat Krishna Prasad, their sinful becomes increased. And so much surprise, surprise this contamination, this goes on, full of contamination. And food grains, vegetables are actually eatable for the humans. Like food, um, food grains, vegetables, fruits, etc. And the animals eat the refuse of the food grains and vegetables, grass, plants, etc. So human beings who are accustomed to eating meat and fish must also depend on the production of vegetation in order to uh, for the animals to eat. Otherwise, and there's one thing about it that those meat eaters they only eat the meat of the vegetarian animals. Who one does it? They don't eat the meat of the dog and cat and tiger and like that. But all the you know, animals like 
um, eating grass and things like that, the grains and vegetables. They eat the meat of those. So indirectly they are eating. So, but devotees are eating directly vegetables. So they are very uh, Christian loves them. This is my devotees. There are so many devotees in other species also. Like we have examples of um, Gajendra and Harumanji in a Vanaray. There are so many. And Jambavan. There are so many devotees. So, let's see. The field, uh, the the Prabhupada says that therefore ultimately we have to depend on the production of the field and not on the production of big factories. Actually the grains are not produced in the factories. Not any single vegetable is produced from, not even small grain of vegetable uh, grain are produced in factories. The field production is due to sufficient rain from the sky. And such rains are controlled by demigods like Indra, Sun, Moon, etc. And they are all servants of the Lord. The Lord can be satisfied by sacrifices. Therefore, one who cannot perform them will find himself in scarcity. So we see whenever there is scarcity, they are not performing sacrifice to the Lord. In, in this, this is called yoga. The sacrifice, the five sacrifices they were doing before in um, Treta Yuga. In Dhapra also they did. So in Dhapra was like mainly deity worship, gorgeous deity worship in the temple. Very opulent worship. In Kali Yuga, it is Sankirtan Yagna, that is the sacrifice. Chanting of the Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. This is the Yuga Dharma. This is a Kali Yuga, and Kali Yuga is a Hare Krishna Mahamudra, Sankirtan Yagna. Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has, yeah, you know, gave us this process. Lord Chaitanya is not different than Radha Krishna. So it's the same. Krishna comes in every yuga. In Kali Yuga, he also comes. And only Chaitanya Mahaprabhu comes only once. They, after, you know, uh, Kali Yuga, in a one day, Brahma, Krishna comes once. Only. Not every Chaitanya Yuga. Every Dwapa Yuga, no, it doesn't come Krishna. Only. So Krishna came, and following Krishna, Lord Chaitanya came. So Lord Chaitanya also comes in once in a Brahma's day, just one time. And so we are very fortunate. Then Lord Krishna came, then Lord Chaitanya came, then Sri Prabhupada came, and they gave us this uh, nectar and process to how to go back, beautify ourselves and go back to serve Krishna in the spiritual world. So we are very fortunate. So, but I am so unfortunate I don't take it full advantage. But I'm trying to do something. So I hope Krishna, Lord God, I'm going to be pleased. Anyway, that is the That was in text 14, and I will just, I will, it will not take much time. It's also long support, but it's very, uh, mm, you can say appropriate. So in text 15, regular activities are prescribed in the Vedas, and the Vedas are directly manifested from the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Consequently, all pervading transcendence is eternally situated in acts of sacrifice. We say Krishna is everywhere in all the. Oh, I did it. What am I doing? Okay. 
પરફોર્ડ યજ્ઞાર્થ કર્મ ઓર ધ નેસેસિટી ઓફ વર્ક ફોર ધ સેટિસ્ફેક્શન ઓફ કૃષ્ણ ઓન ઇઝ મોર એક્સપ્રેસલી સ્ટેટેડ ઇન ધીસ વર્સ ઇફ વી હેવ ટુ વર્ક ફોર ધ સેટિસ્ફેક્શન ઓફ ધ યજ્ઞ પુરુષ વી શુડ ધેન વી મસ્ટ ફાઇન્ડ આઉટ ધ ડાયરેક્શન ઓફ વર્ક ઇન બ્રહ્મન ફોર ધ ટ્રાન્સેન્ડેન્ટલ વેદર્સ ધ વેદર્સ આર देयर ફોર કોડ્સ ઓફ વર્કિંગ ડાયરેક્શન્સ Anything performed without the direction of the Vedas is called V-karma or unauthorized or sinful work. Therefore, we, one should always take direction from the Vedas to be saved from the reaction of work. As one has to work in ordinary life by the direction of the state, one similarly has to work under the direction of the supreme state of the Lord. Such directions in the Vedas are directly manifested from the breathing of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. It is said, Asya Mahato Bhutasya Nishvasitam Etad Yadrik Vedo Yajur Veda Sama Veda Tathravam Gira Sar. The four Vedas, namely the Rig Veda, Yajur Veda, Sama Veda and Athar Veda. are all emanations from the breathing of the great personality of god this is quoted from brihat aranyak upanishad the lord being omnipotent can speak by breathing air yeah. <laughs> so it is confirmed in the brahma samhita the lord has the the, om- the omnipotent to perform through each of his senses the essence of all other senses. We chant this verse in the morning when we deal with the Yeti's greeting. Angnanyasya sakalendriya vritti manti pasyanti panti kalayanti chiram jaganti ananda chinmaya sada uchala vigrahasya govinda madhi purusham tamaham vajami. So, he can in other words the lord can speak through his breathing and he can impregnate by his eyes in fact it is said that he grants over material nature and thus father all living in it after creating or impregnating the conditioned source into the womb of material nature he gave his directions in the vedic wisdom as to how such conditioned souls can return home back to god we should all remember that the conditioned souls in material nature are all eager for material enjoyment but the vedic directions are so made that one can satisfy one's perverted desires then return to god and having finished his so called enjoyment it is a chance for the conditioned souls to attain liberation therefore the conditioned conditioned souls must try to follow the process of yajna by by becoming krishna conscious even those who have not followed the vedic instruction may adopt the principles of krishna consciousness and that will take the place of performance of vedic yajnas or karmas okay i think that's what i wanted to say so then in do mas ke is he which follow the vedas that he had material desire and he attained the greatest the thing is when we do the worship the lord krishna or vishnu they don't give us the that we only we ask for it but they give us what even we don't have to ask for it like you know so we ask for material things and we don't ask for spiritual things so but krishna he says in bank satan is the myth of some he says that he is this uh, person this devotee he is a uh, arthasi he is uh, you know he is foolish he doesn't have intelligence but i am intelligent he is asking for bhagavancha he want to enjoy material enjoyment but i am more intelligent i will give 
the uh, nectar of my lotus feet. So the, by that, the mortal desire is all vanquished, and all the, he gives his lotus feet. So what? Do you, what else do we want? You know, it's the with that lotus feet. Adiji, is it possible to come a little more closer to the mic? I'm losing your voice here. Oh, okay. Is it okay? Yes, Mataji, this is much better. Oh, okay, thank you. So when Lord, what I say, that when Lord gave to Maharaj the person, so he was fully satisfied. He didn't want anything but the time. But Lord gave him the what he had had. Better than what he had asked. So we also, in the material, we are material world, we also have material desires to fulfill. So instead of going to the devatas, then he goes, we should go to Krishna and worship him with material desire. That's okay. It's all right. Because in Bhagavatam, it's Krishna. And Krishna himself says, O Kamu Sarva Kamu Ma. Moksha Kamu Dharati Tidhira Bhakti Yogi Yajita Purushampara Like Tidhira Bhakti Yoga So one the thing is when they are worshipping when whoever has a material desire and they worship the demigod they follow all the rules and regulations very strictly so it's Tidhira so instead of doing that to, to, for the demigods if the person does Krishna, Vishnu, then they get the benefits that so much that they cannot even count the blessings. How much, how completely, so many blessings. He gets all, it will be like a Jewish service and they are so pleased and give so much. Like we see the example of Dhruma, that he got the whole planet which cannot be annihilated and he ruled there. So it's wonderful to worship Krishna instead of demigod. And I'm saying another thing is, some say, well, I don't have any material desire, but I still I'm kind of attached to worship this Lord Shiva or Lord Durga Devi or whatever, Ganesh or something like that. But that worship is also like then when you worship some demigod or something like that, they are obliged to give you something. But that worship has to be particularly all the, whatever mantra or whatever vidi or whatever offering or paraphernalia you have to do, you must do it in any purified state of mind like that. So if we can do that for Krishna or Vishnu, then we will get all the things and whatever is beneficial for us and whatever not beneficial for us of our spiritual treatment. Because Krishna is very anxious to, for us. He is waiting with his stretched arms to receive us there. So he gives us the very thing that is will glorify us quickly and so that we can go to him. So and then we go to him and there's no other thing we require. We have everything will be like a uh, very distasteful for the, all these material uh, enjoyments. So, oh yeah, <laughs> this was it here. I don't know, I didn't put it in. Okay. Thank you very much. I think I will soon now end. Here is close to 11.30. How long I don't know. I was thinking about it. This this one is also the one. I'll read this first. It's very nice. I, I hope it's okay. Is it okay? Text one o four. Yes, Mataji. Yes. Okay. Ah, uh, chapter twenty-four. Explanations of the Atma Ramasya. Text one and then four. Sadhu Sangha Krishna Kripa um, Bhakti Rasva Bhav Eti Ne Sabha Chadaya Kare Krishna Bhav Very wonderful verse. I will read translation in purport. It's very, very wonderful, very, very beautiful. 
association with the devotee, the mercy of Krishna, and the nature of devotional service help one to give up all undesirable association and gradually attain elevation to the platform of love of God. Lord Satan is very merciful, he is giving me this process. The purple by his divine is Srila Prabhupada. This verse refers to the association of pure devotees. Sometimes we wonder, who is a pure devotee that I can associate with? So the one time Prabhupada, one devotee asked Prabhupada, Prabhupada, where can we find pure devotee? We know that you are pure devotee. But, you know, if you are going to India or some other place, then where can we find a pure devotee? So, Prabhupada said, all of you are pure devotee. You are not, you are following four regulative principles. You are chanting Hare Krishna Mantra 16 rounds, eating only Krishna Prasad, and also doing deity worship or whatever puja you are doing here. This is according to whatever Prabhupada has prescribed. So you are all pure devotee. So you associate with each other. So whoever we have on all these devotees on Bhakti Sangha, not just now, but every day, twice a day, we have devotees. They are all pure devotees. So this is what we have to associate with all these devotees. All this help one give up the association of non devotees and the material opulence avoided by the external energy that will be also avoided. That will be nice. Maya, that is Maya. So Maya will be also be the leave us alone. A pure devotee is never attracted by material opulence, for he understands that wasting time to acquire material opulence is a misuse of the gift of human life. In Srimad Bhagavatam it is said, Shrama Eva He Kevan. If he uses labor, then we try to get okay, try to acquire material uh, commodities to be sensitive by the senses, whichever senses. And that is only Shama means hard labor. We do to hard labor to achieve that. It's only you don't attain in Ananda because if we do try to get so much money to buy something, but we really want it. We really get it. We work, we get money, and we get it. And we may just take it one time or two times. That's enough that we will not hurt this. We, we, we are not so much anxious. But if we have that anxiousness, Krishna, like Bhagavad Manga Thakur had, so wonderful that he he was directed. He, you know, you all know this. That like Bhagavad Manga Thakur, he was used to uh, go to this prostitute. Her name is Chintamani. And she is very beautiful. So he he always goes goes to. So then one time his father had passed away and then there's some uh, ritual has to be done. So Brahmins were there and he was, uh, he had to stay there. And he wanted, his heart was there, his mind was there in Tintamans. But then, so he was asking the Brahman to hurry up and finish on And as yes, soon as he finished, he just went. And that day was raining very, very hard. And they, he had to cross the rivers to go to Chindamani's house. So he, and the, it was so heavy rain, and the river was flooded. But he was so anxious to meet her. So then he just scared him. And then he thought there was a log, there was a log, so he just hold on the log and went on the other side. That was good. But then he saw that was a corpse, a dead body. It wasn't log. But anyway, then he goes there to some Chintamani's house. And Chintamani has already thought she's not going to come today. So he just locked the door and he just went to a room upstairs, wherever. 
And so then he goes and he knocks on the door, but it was so much, you know, thunder shower like we have here, so much noise, we, she cannot hear. So then he said, he just went around and saw that there was a window was open. So, and then she, he saw that there was a rope. So he just grabbed on the rope and climbed up. And then went there in the room. So Chintam said, oh, Bila Mangal, you came. How did you come? See, you just, you, you just had a rope here hanging for me. So I just climbed up on the rope. But that was a snake. It was a rope. So, so then she realized that he crossed the river on a dead corpse and he climbed on a snake and one of them. So, so much and never in so much anxious to get there. So then Chintamani says, if you have, you have just for this, this body, you know, made of all these dirty things, you will come and per gone through all this austerity, tapasya, all this dangerous thing you did, if you have done that for Krishna, you will be getting so much more pleasure. So that triggers the intelligence, the intelli intelligent intelligence we can trigger and, okay, then he said, yes, he took it to heart. And he just started going to Vrindavan. And Vrindavan, and on the way, he was going, and then uh, one place, he, he thought, and then one lady was walking. She was very beautiful. So he followed her to her house. And so then, but if she, lady, you knew, she knew, so then that was Brahman's wife. And so then, she just went in the house and told her, her husband that that man is following me. So then her husband came out and asked, Can I help you? Please come in. What can I, how can I serve you? So, but the Dipila Mangataku, he was so enamored by Maya Devi. Then he said, I would associate with your wife. So, then Brahma said, Okay, you can stay here. My wife will come. So he goes inside and tells his wife, Just we serve him. So she goes by the order of her husband. But then in that meantime, Krishna gave a little trigger. What are you doing? You know, like that. So he came to his sense. So then when she came, she asked, How can you serve me? So she, then he said, Mata, give me your hair pins. So she had two hair pins on both sides, so she took their out and gave him. And what she did, Mangantaku did, with both pins, he put uh, poked both of his eyes. Because of, the, because of his eyes, he was attracted to this beautiful lady. And that is the enemy. So he poked them. And then they stopped him. Then, after then, he started. He cannot see anymore. So there is no attraction. But now how to go? But then he just asks, which way is well now? The people will guide him. And in the border of the Vrindavan and on came and Krishna took over. He said, Krishna said, a small child, he said, Baba, where do you want to go? He said, Baba saying, Vila Muntaku says, I want to go to Vrindavan. He said, okay, come, I'll take you. So he just guides him and brings him in and he said, makes him sit one place and he said, I'll bring you some milk. So he gets milk and gives him the milk. So he drank and he was satisfied and said, good. So he yes, you are in the noun. This is the noun. He says, okay. So every day I was giving you milk. So every day he was giving him milk. Krishna supplied himself, giving him milk every day. And Vilamal Thakur was just 
singing, watching whatever he had learned, something like that. And one time, he thought, what is your name? So then he said, nah, some name, but Krishna, one of the name, nah, the Kumar or something like that. Then one time he thought, let me just hold him and talk to him. So, but Krishna knows what he's going to do. So he, he tried to hold his hand, but Krishna, he slipped. So now he knew. So that's how then he, he we are reading that Purusastaka on Purusottam Mad, Vajitrasiddham Namnitat, Namnitat Cholam, I forget the words, but that we were singing. So that song was written by Pirmohan Thakur. It's very wonderful. So, I don't know how I started that, but about the uh, enjoyment from there I said that. Hare Krishna. Again, Srimad Bhagavatam says, Shramayevi Kevalam, from trying to achieve material things, is a Shramayevi Kevalam. Only labor, we don't get any enjoyment. We think we'll get enjoyment when we get it, but when we get it, we don't get it. We get the enjoyment. So simply wishing their time for human society is not freed from the cycle of birth and death by their activity and propaganda. So if we transcend this birth and death, then we get very blissful situation. The so-called philanthropists and politicians, we don't have to, yeah, they have knowledge and all things, whatever. But in Bhagavad Gita, if a person can understand himself what he is, simply by understanding the first lessons of Bhagavad Gita, which is, as the embodied soul continually passes in this body from boyhood to youth to old age, the soul similarly passes into another body at death. The self-realized soul is not divisible by such change. Bhagavad Gita, chapter 2, verse number 13. Not knowing the real science of life, one engages in the temporary activities of this life and thus become further entangled in the cycle of birth and death. So sometimes we say, oh, the birth is very nice, everybody becomes happy. And that is all, okay, well, sometimes it's good and sometimes not good like that. But anyway, the birth is very happy. But with birth and death, there is old age and disease. And not only that, but then, then we have three other miseries, adhyatmic, adhibhotic, and adhi David. So when we get the birth, birth is death is certain, and all these miseries are certain. So if we become, if we become transcend from the birth and death, then there is no more birth and death, and no many other miseries. Hare Krishna. Mm. Okay, thus one always desires what you have to know. And which can be attained by karma, jnan, and yoga. However, one, when one is actually elevated to the devotional platform, he gives up all these desires. This is called anya, bila, sita, shunya. And that's what the Rupa Goswami says in Bhakti Rasami Siddhi. Anya, bila, sita, shunya. We should perform the devotional service like that. I think I'll stop here. I just took so much time. Hare Krishna. Thank you very much, everyone. Please forgive me for all the mistakes, whatever I have done or something. And if you have any questions, I, I don't know. I, I just mainly read, but not much say anything. So, please, if you have... Hare <laughs> Go ahead, Mata. <laughs> Hare Krishna, Kaumadi Ki Mataji. Thank you so much for a very beautiful class with lovely details on these two verses. It was very, very nice hearing from you after such a long time. 
It was beautiful, Mataji. Simply beautiful class, especially the way you were talking about uh, Bilba Mangal Thakur's life and um, how Maya uh, actually played a very important role and how he came out of it. It was very, very nice, Mataji. Thank you so much uh, for elaborating in detail on these two words. Very, very grateful. Hare Krishna, Mataji. Hare Krishna. All glories to you, Mataji. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Kamadaki Mataji. Thank you so much for such a beautiful class. As Triti Vilasini was telling that, how the way you explained the life history of Bilva Mangal Thakur, and then what motivated him, and how beautifully he wrote Chaura Ashtakam. So it's so beautiful, and especially that Ashtakam singing. It's so beautiful. The meaning, you know, Krishna feels everything. And Krishna cannot run away from my heart. So that's so beautiful. Thank you so much, okay. for, Madhuri, for bringing up that point. So, thank, thank you. you. That's my question. I am not so much in learned as you are. Just a simple thing. Krishna. Krishna consciousness is just simple, Mataji. We make it complex. Krishna consciousness is really simple. And it's only for simple-hearted people like you. So thank you so much, Mataji. Thank you for giving me, uh, what do you call, uh, I don't know, but sometimes I forget the English words. Anyway, oh, for the Insta, it inspired me. Thank you. Hare Krishna. 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 Hare we have to hear Shishi Bhagavatam and chant with the Vaishnava. That only learn, Mataji. Done for Pranam, Sila Prabhupada, Sila Prabhupada, Ki Jai. Thank you very much. Done for a long time. We are the... Yeah, Vrinda Gopi Gamadhan, done for Pranam. Koti Koti Pranam to you. You are very wonderful devotees. Very sincere. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Mataji, I have one question. It's not related to today's class. Mataji, uh, uh, every lecture we hear that Thruna Rapi Suniche Nataru Rapi Shai Shunadam Amani Namana Deha Kirtaniya Sadahari. But Mataji, still, I am talking about myself, that we become we become angry when when the person is not given a response to us. It is in our house, in our office. So, not every day, but once in a month. But I have to keep all that anger in my mind. And after that, it's like a bomb, uh, we spot after one or two months. So, that is not good. But I don't, uh, I am not qualified. Mataji, what should we do in this situation? When you are angry, you know, one of my, one time, one of my grand sister or somebody, he asked my Guru Maharaj, then he knows, sometimes he gets so angry. And what should he do? How, how can he control? So the Guru Maharaj said, just chant Hare Krishna loudly. As loudly you want to, like, scream at somebody, just chant that loudly. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Just like, you know, just started. <laughs> but just do like that, chant Hare Krishna loudly. As loudly as you can. Thank you, Mataji. Uh, but uh, we hear every time from Ajji Adigatatar Prabhu and Ajji Ram Prabhu. I always hear Ajji Shidam Prabhu and Kishori Mataji, Ajji Janva Mataji. We have to forgive, forgive, forgive. But in my case, I just keep uh, anger in, inside. That is absolutely wrong. Because without my fault, somebody is uh, angry on me. So what? I should be re remembered the Prahlad Maharaj, Dhru Maharaj, Kunti Maharani. But still, Mataji, after 19 years of Satna, Mataji, I also become angry. See, Mataji, how fallen I am. 
Yes, I'm also very following you. But I have just learned one thing, that it's somebody provoking. Then I say, why I should get angry? No? I said, thank you. And her action. That also make me calm, make me peaceful, and that person also becomes calm. Say thank you for you know letting me know whatever I have done or what I uh, whatever I have not done. Thank you. Hare Krishna, Mataji, very very beautiful flag. It is okay, Mataji. Yes, Mataji. Then we we have to hear that without our fault we have to hear that. Yes, you learn this thing from your temple. Your Guru Maharaj is learn this thing from your temple. So that if somebody will tell me anything, give a slap, it's okay, Mataji. But they point out to my Guru Maharaj, it is unbearable. Yes, uh, it is unbearable. If you can do something about it, then do it. Like, you know, you can try to defeat with the scripture. And if you cannot do, then just say, for pay obeisances to that, say, so must be devotee. Just pay obeisances and say, Hare Krishna, and leave. I have to go. Please forgive me. And go. That's all. We can remove ourselves if we cannot defeat that person. Second thing I can follow that I have to turn my face. Not turn, not turn your face. But you see, no, no, turn my face means I have to go outside and chant loudly Hare Krishna Mahamudra. So I have to leave you that can place. there also. You can chant there also Hare Krishna. That will purify them. Loudly chanting does not purify our ones, ourselves. One, like if I chant loudly, not myself will be purified. But there's so many other living entities, so many. In the air, there are so many bacteria. And viruses. The other living entities are there also, like bugs and birds, and if you go outside, it's there. But inside also there are some bugs and ants and things like that. So they also become purified, so you chant out loud. Just in presence of that person becomes also uh, uh, glorified. So that person will immediately may become down and say, I'm sorry. If he doesn't say sorry, then you just say sorry that I upset you, please forgive me. And send a Hare Krishna. That's all. Whether you have your beach with you or not, that's okay. But you can send Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. You can sing, you sing for nicely, so you sing Hare Krishna. That will purify everything and everyone. Because this is only a Hare Krishna. This and then, you know that there are uh, in a Kali Santana Upanishad. It says, uh, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Iti Sola Sakam Nama Nama. Means these are all 15 words. Kali, uh, Iti Sola Sakam Nama Nama. Mm, I forget the Kali. Uh, Okay, this verse in Kali Yuga, this mantra, this 16 words, Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, this 16 words. Kali Kalma Shanasana. Kali Kalma Shanasana, yes. Kali Kalma, so Kalma so is a proper scene of Kali Yuga. It destroys this Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. And the, in the second line is, Nata Parataro Paya, Sarva Kedesha Dishati. We, we accept of this Hare Krishna mantra, there is no other remedy. And all the Vedas are this, uh, proclaims this. So why don't we just say, we are, we are mercifully given by our Guru Maharaj, our Prabhupada, our Nithai Guranga. We should just take the Hare Krishna mantra. Doesn't matter whichever condition is, whichever situation is provoking or just as in, if you are crying, just to cry also Hare Krishna chant, crying also. Krishna is very pleased by, <laughs> by crying you chanting Hare Krishna. You will feel very close to them, Radha Krishna. 
any time or anywhere. What else do we want? You know, that's what we want. That's what makes us free from this material section. Listen, it says uh, in this material body, still be liberated. Liberated means above the material conditions. Will be situated on spiritual platform. This material body becomes spiritualized, like we also read in you know, Bhagavad Gita, that prasadam only not fulfills, you know, we can satisfy our hunger. Also, it's, this body is also spiritualized, gets the spiritual benefit. So, there's nothing else to have in this material creation except for the Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, 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 Hare Hare. If we have, and we are very fortunate in the sense that we have come and somehow we have attained, but we are given this mantra. I have no qualification, but by the mercy, Lord Chaitanya has given me this Hare Krishna mantra. Through Srila Prabhupada, through our Guru Maharaj, through the, all the other devotees. All the devotees, they are also, when, because they are very happy by chanting, so they are also encouraged everyone to chant Hare Krishna. Whoever we, that's what Lord Chaitanya says, whoever, whoever you meet, tell about Krishna. Amaradna Guru Anatarai Dish. Jara Deke Tareka Krishna Upadesh. What is the Krishna Upadesh? Yes, is Bhagavad Gita? Yes, Mataji, Dangat Pranam. Hare Krishna Mataji. Sorry, I don't know how to say anything or relieve your pain, but this is only I think, no? So please forgive me. No, Mataji, I will chant Hare Krishna Maha Mantra uh, in a one corner and I will not keep. Any single anchor, I will try. Not in a one day I will change my nature, but I will try my best, Mataji. Thank you, Mataji. Hare Krishna. You are very wonderful devotee. You are taking care of so many devotees and serving them. So just keep the positive things that what you are doing. Krishna is giving you this mercy to serve the devotees. So thank. So that's what also says that we should come with the blessings. Whatever we have, positive things we have, we are given, calm those. Then don't worry about the negative things. Try to improve from there. That's all we can do. Try. This is what we in our hand. Trying. We may be pure, we may not be pure, doesn't matter. This process is given to us and we just try to do it. Whether it purifies us or not purifies is up to Krishna and Guru. So by that, Guru will be pleased. And when, when Guru is pleased, then you will know that Krishna is pleased. Oh, yes, Mataji. Hare Krishna. Very nice to hear you, Mataji. Very wonderful. I'm happy to talk to you. So that I can get it bigger. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, anyone else has any questions, comments, or realizations or you want to share or ask Mataji? We can end if there is no question or, or comment or anything. Hare Krishna Mataji, Dandavat Pranam, a very, very beautiful class, Mataji. Thank you so much for such a beautiful class and very nice question and very nice answer, Mataji. Thank you so much. Hare Hare Bol. Hare Krishna. Is Vinya Mataji? Yes, Mataji. <laughs> you are so wonderful. You are so nice. Thank you, Mataji. All your blessings, Mataji. Your ashishan. 
please bless us bless me mata ji so that i can serve you you and all the vaishnavas hari krishna mata ji hari krishna vrindas taking this no mata ji she is in another room i just sent her because she will not allow me to stay in you say some words on the call mata ji just said she can have that there you also have to say some yeah i know <laughs> She is very wonderful devotee. Thank you, Mother Devi, for your blessing. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Oh, sorry, Mother Devi, go ahead, please. Mother Devi, please go ahead, Mother Devi. Okay. Then what, Pranam, Mother Devi? So nice class. Wonderful. Just took me, Mother Devi. And this is Sita Priti. Oh, Sita Priti, Mother Devi. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna Mataji. Mataji will really like to hear more from you always. So please take up calls more often Mataji. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. I like to hear you also as you are giving very nice very very beautiful class you giving. I I heard both classes very nice. It just gives me and Happiness and I become a lion. Yes, it's good. I, I must be very fortunate to have your association of very nice devotees. Otherwise, I was born in the temple. I cannot go to temple every day because I had duties at home to serve. So then, so that there is no temple, I cannot go. So how can I do? So I read, but then reading, and, and I like to hear also. But then somehow by Prabhupada's mercy, devotee's mercy, somehow Guru Maharaj's mercy, by the mercy of the devotee, I got this. So I don't want to give up. You are amazing, Mataji, really. So much to learn from you. Please bless us all, Mataji. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I, only one person is to be blessed. to me and i and whatever blessings we are we all have received the blessings hari krishna hari krishna 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 hari 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 ram hari ram 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 this is the blessing should be had the topmost there is nothing beyond this blessing so everything all the bhajan kriya everything is in there we can sing still sing the bhajan but that bhajan gives us all this uh ecstasy of the devotee is not of the sacred but in charcoal not in the sacred so, so, so many devotees are the bhajan they go in vrindavan the sacred so many wonderful songs they have given us it's very ecstasy So when we chant those, we also become uh, confident and get, it gives us a little glimpse into ecstasy. It makes us happy when we say, yes, especially Bhakti Nur Thakur's Sarnagati songs are very, very wonderful. Well, he just described just like how we are from, we have, I, think I should say, I, I have gone through by the mercy of Bhakti Nur Thakur, we can see it's like a mirror in front of us, you know. The how, there's this one song which says that um, I, I, I have no, I have no um, good things in me, but still I am so a uh, rich person that I see when somebody's happy, Then I become morose. I become unhappy. And when I see somebody unhappy, and that gives me pleasure. I become happy. And so then I'm, then like my words are also like cheating. Also, but I'm cheating everybody. I'm like, so it's like a mirror in my front. Yes. Sometimes I think that if somebody gets some punishment or somebody gets sick or something, hope it. Huh? It's good. it has he has he or she has to be learned like the that's an envy you know we think like that i mean 
I'm not saying we I should try things like that. It's not good. Because when we see envy, ten years of devotee, ten years of any person, in devotee or non living that's like envy to Krishna. It's many sisters there. Hare Krishna. I'm so oh, I don't know. I don't know much. <laughs> Thank you very much. I hope to have a, your association more and more. And I also like to hear this Puriyat Bhagavatam from Pritila Shri Mataji. And this past Saturday we didn't hear Kurashita Mataji. Maybe she has, she's been traveling maybe. So maybe we will get. So she will come tomorrow, Mataji. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you Mataji. Okay. Thank you, Krishna. Thank you, Priti Rasri Mataji. Very, very much. Thank you. It's not good words. Not enough uh, good words. Thank you. But Abhar. In this it. I'm in this it. But I don't know. Oh, how ah, okay. I think we are all in the same. I'm sorry. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Kamalaki Mataji. Please accept my humble obeisances. Thank you so much, Mataji, for this uh, very clear and uh, I can easily understand this class by your analogies and examples, Mataji. Thank you so much. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Supriya Mataji. You are doing very wonderful. Um, for a few Fridays, I haven't joined, but I hear the recordings. Very, very wonderful. Oh, past glorification. Thank you, Supriya Mataji. Oh, thank you so much, Mataji. Thank you. So many times I thought I'm missing you on the call. But thank you so much, Mataji, for hearing the classes and giving your blessings, Mataji. Thank you so much. Yes, you are doing very nice. That's good. Because years ago, years ago, I read Prabhupada Ramita, and I meant I was thinking of reading, reading, it. but then now oh, devotees are reading. You have started this. It's very wonderful. And after everybody's uh, realization or whatever it all, they give their inputs. It's very nice. And at the end, you give yours. It's wonderful. You can cover all things. So it's very nice. Thank you. Keep on Thank doing it. Keep on Thank going. Thank you. Thank you so much. I will be very pleased with you. And your Guru will be very pleased with you also. Hare Krishna. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mataji, for giving your precious blessings to me. That's why I am continuing this service, Mother. Thank you so much. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. It's it. eight minutes over. Bye, Jalaka. No problem, Mataji. Anyone else wants to ask Mataji anything or share your realizations? Yeah. Okay. So thank you again, Mataji, for your very, very precious association. Thank you again for coming and giving us your very, very nice, beautiful class. So we can end the call. Everyone is okay. <laughs> thank you, Mataji. Everybody, all the beauties. Thank you. 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 Thank you